In this video, I'm going to describe the construction steps for the continuous lap placket. A lapped placket is what we construct in the bottom of the sleeve next to the cuff to create an opening in the sleeve. It is this tiny piece that we sew on here that is the placket. Let's see what that looks like in the pattern. So here we have a teaching sample, but it represents the sleeve and the seam allowance at the bottom of the sleeve. And then this is the placement mark for where we want the placket to go. And the placket itself is a separate piece that will cut out of the fabric. So here we have the teaching sample, the seam allowance at the bottom, the placement, and the placket. To prepare the placket opening, you want to take this to the sewing machine and on a size 2 stitch, stitch down one side just an eighth of an inch away from that placement line until you get to about 3 eighths of an inch from the termination of it and then angle in so that you can sink your machine needle, lift your presser foot, um, pivot, and then stitch up the other side. What that does is uh, firms up this opening because next we're going to cut it open. So here we've cut open the placket uh, opening and now we're going to pin the placket itself to the opening right sides together. Pin from this side because down here at this pivot point there's going to be excess fabric on the shirt and when we stitch in a, a step or two later we want to be able to keep our eye on that and manage where that falls. Here is another version of that very same step. I've uh, cut contrasting placket to uh, pin onto the darker uh, shirt sample so that you can see what happens in the pinning here at the pivot point. We want to essentially match up the two edges, pin them together across, and then right here at the pivot point we want to organize or manage how the sh um, shirt springs away from this pivot point. So you can see that this brown sleeve opening is lined up pretty well with the uh, lighter colored placket. But right here, because of that pivot, the sleeve will want to dip down just a tiny bit, and that's okay. Um, then you need to organize which way all of this folds. I like to divide and conquer and then pin right in the center of that. Then when I take that to the sewing machine to stitch, just here on the outside of that uh, previous stitching, I can leap over these points of fabric lump and uh, just skip right past that. So here is step two in this teaching sample and I have stitched down just outside of that first stay stitching line. I have just skipped over, but still catching the sleeve portion, and then continued. So now we have, you can see, the placket is stitched to the sleeve. Next we want to press the seam allowance toward the placket, press the placket so it has a clean finished edge here, fold the placket over one more time so that it creates this quarter inch or maybe three-eighths inch wide uh, continuous placket on the outside. We want to press it over just enough so that when we stitch in the ditch here, we catch just the tiniest lip of fabric here. So now we've pressed the seam allowance into the placket, press the placket so that it binds the uh, raw edge. We are pinning from the right side because we want to stitch here, stitch in the ditch, 
and at this pivot point we want to be able to keep an eye on all this extra shirt fabric so that we don't stitch in, uh, stitch down a tuck. We want this to, to really live free. So we'll stitch that. Once you've stitched in the ditch, press one side under because that's what makes the overlap. This side sticks out, makes the underlap. The very last thing to do here is uh, machine stitch at a diagonal so that that will line up beautifully at all times. And that's your continuous lapped placket.